Hello and welcome to another video tutorial of the FEMM software. In this video, we are going to solve this problem. Actually, we are going to solve Laplace equation in a rectangle or a uh, square actually this is a classical problem and we are going to find the voltage distribution or the electric field inside this box uh, the boundary conditions are here at this edge the voltage is equal one and on these three edges, the voltage is zero. We are going to solve this problem using FEMM software. This is a two dimensional problem, and this is the procedure that we should do for solving of a differential equation using the finite element method. In the first step, we should create the geometry and we should assign the materials the materials that exist in the solution region here only we have a box and the material inside it is air we assume it is air actually for aluminium sheets or for iron at uh, boundaries of this square uh, because we need uh, to have a conductors at boundary and we are going to apply boundary conditions to find the electric field distribution inside the square this is the pattern of boundary conditions here we have this for boundary and on this boundary the voltage is equal one and here voltage is equal zero here also voltage is equal zero voltage is equal zero and the material inside this region is air this is a classical problem. Uh, so uh, let's uh, open FEMF software. I am going to create a new project. Our problem is electrostatics problem. And I press OK because the interest here is uh voltage contour lines of the voltage so the first step is creation of the geometry and here in the software we have this uh, geometry primitives to create our geometry as you can see here uh, this is a point a segment an arc so using these primitives we can create our geometry first we should uh, create points as you can see here if i click on this point i can place points in my design so for creation of the segments i can create the segment object now if i select two vertices here two points here i can draw a segment also here i can draw a segment also we can draw arc if we select two points and specify the arc angle here for example 90 degree or 180 okay you can see this arc here uh, so 
I assume that we have uh, this geometry. This is our y axis and this is x axis. Here x is equal 1, x is equal 0. Here, this point is our origin, and here the y is equal 1. So let me delete all of this object here that already we created delete we select okay i should select point and now select these four points delete because we are going to delete all objects. Uh, so uh, we can create nodes by left click, uh, selection of this tab, and left click on this uh, on this uh, design. But another way for creation of points is using the tab key. If I press the tab key on my keyboard, as you can see here, I can enter a point. Here I uh, want to create the first point that is 0 and 0. Origin. Okay. If I zoom out, you can see this point that we already created. Also, I can press the tab key again and write here 1 and 0. Okay, the tab key again, 1 and 1. And I should create the last point. Again, I press the tab key, 0 and 1. Okay. So, this is our design and we created four points now i am going to create segments so this is the first segment the second one third and the last one so this is the geometry of our problem that is simple right because this is a classical problem and the geometry is simple and our first example in FEMM software okay uh, the next step is assigning the materials actually we should assign materials uh, here inside this square is our solution region and we should specify the material of it because as you know in Laplace equation or in Poisson equation we have some material properties that exist in the differential equation so from here uh, this icon I select and I place it here so I should specify the material actually uh, using this we assign using this uh, green point we assign material that is inside this square so from here properties materials i am going to add a new material i can define it and i can set the value of permittivity in x direction and in y direction but there is a library also materials library and simply i can uh, pick up the materials that i need for example from here 
I select air and I place it here. Okay. So now, uh, if I go to materials, I can see the air that exists here. Now I right click on this point and I press the space key. And from here, I specify the material that is air, the material of this region. And I press OK. Now you can see the material that is air inside this square. OK. The next step is specifying the physics that actually was our first step. When we created the design, we created a magnetostatic problem. Now we should specify the boundary conditions. So, this figure shows our boundary conditions. Now I should define two boundary conditions. Actually, the boundary condition for these three edges are the same. and I should define two boundary condition and assign to this edge objects, segment objects. So from here, boundary, I add a new boundary condition. Here, uh, I write the name of this boundary condition v equals zero. And the boundary condition type is fixed voltage. The voltage is zero. And the value of voltage is equal to zero. And I press OK. I add a new boundary condition and I set its name as V equal one. Uh, the boundary condition type is fixed voltage and the value of voltage is equal one. And I press OK. OK. So now I select the segment here. Uh, so uh, I move the mouse, the cursor, close to this edge object, this segment, and I right click on it uh, to select it. I right click. So I press the space key and I specify its boundary condition from here. V is equal to zero. Okay. Again, I right click on this edge and I press the space key. V is equal to zero. Right click, space, V is equal to zero. For this segment, right click, space, V is equal 1. Okay, so we assigned the boundary condition for each segment here for the boundary of our problem. The next is uh, generation of the mesh uh, for. for uh, the structure actually we created the geometry and using uh, this icon here or the tab here I can create the mesh so I left click on this icon here a data file must be loaded actually we should save our design I save it in desktop. I write here tutorial 2. Save. And now I generate the mesh. So this is the mesh, a fine mesh that FEMM software generated for our problem, for our design so the next step is solving of this uh, differential equation solving of this problem 
you can solve the problem uh, here analysis analyze or you can press this icon here i press this icon okay the solution completed and now i want to see the results solutions uh, from here i can see the results view results or i can click on this icon here so you can see the voltage distribution inside the box here uh, let me zoom out this is voltage distribution and here uh, you can see the voltage graphically also you should uh, plot contour lines if i click on this icon here and uh, show density plot uh, or if i click on this to plot the equipotential lines number of contours 19 you can see the equipotential lines also you can plot the electric field as you know the electric field is from higher potential to lower potential the direction of the electric field so i can plot the electric field from here vector plot i select electric field intensity e and i press ok the scale factor is one so because the voltage gradient here is high you cannot see the electric field well so let me plot it again i select the scale factor 10 now you can see the field again here because we have a, a high gradient here so you cannot see the electric field distribution well here so uh, let me uh, let me delete electric field distribution and hide equipotential lines so you can see the voltage distribution inside this box and you can see the values here on this color bar so uh, okay uh, this is a very basic example after solving out the problem the next step is post processing uh, so actually the outputs that we are going to calculate in a real design for example an electric motor uh, we need to calculate the output torque right or output power of the machine so using the field quantities we should calculate those parameters this is a, a basic example and i just wanted to show you uh, how we can define a geometry assigned material and solve a problem in femm software in the next video we will review other aspects of the software okay uh, i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching